Good morning. I appreciate the opportunity to be a part of this conference, which is going to be discussing some of the most important issues affecting the relationships within Congress and the executive relationships between government and its people uh, and the national security of our nation. Uh, it's very significant that this conference is being held uh, the day after Senator Feinstein made her statements relative to the relationship between the inquiry, which has been conducted by the Senate Intelligence Committee, uh, and the CIA. Because what we're going to be talking about today raises many of the same fundamental issues. Immediately after 9-11, the leadership of the House and Senate uh, asked the chairs of the House and Senate Intelligence Committee to do what Congress had never done uh, in 200 years, and that is to form a joint committee for purposes of conducting an inquiry as to what had happened in 9-11 with particular focus on the role of the United States intelligence community. Uh, we spent the better part of uh, 15 months uh, working on that inquiry. Uh, we had uh, staff that represented persons who were knowledgeable in each of the intelligence uh, community. Uh, we had persons who'd had experience in the Department of Justice uh, and other law enforcement related agencies of the federal government. Uh, we conducted uh, hundreds of interviews, read thousands of pages of documents, uh, and in December of 2002 produced an 800 plus page report. That report took over six months uh, in the declassification process. And when the report uh, was returned in publicly releasable form, uh, there were a number of specific redactions. Uh, there were uh, names and places and other specific uh, pieces of evidence which were withheld. But the most stunning thing was an entire chapter, 28 pages, was censured from word one uh, to the last word of the chapter. Uh, the, that chapter dealt primarily with who financed 9-11. That was a very fundamental question because it went to an even larger question, and that is, did those who committed that heinous attack on September the 11th, did they act alone or were they supported uh, by a network of individuals? Uh, all of the people who have been in leadership positions of investigations into 9-11 have come away uh, with the feeling that it was implausible to believe that these 19 people, most of whom didn't speak English, most of whom had only been in the United States for, a, a, if any, a very brief period of time, could have carried out such a complex uh, operation which required completion of the planning, the practicing, and then finally uh, the execution of the plot. A key part of that question of whether they acted alone or had support related to the financing of 9-11. How could these people have financed uh, a project that was as uh, expensive uh, in terms of the cost of the 19 individuals uh, without having uh, some support network? That missing chapter uh, provides some evidence that would be important to answer the question of did these people act alone. That chapter has now been censured uh, since the summer of 2003 for over 10 years. Whatever reason there may have been for the initial censorship uh, has long since passed. At the time that we heard uh, that it was being censured, uh, Senator Dick Shelby, a Republican from Alabama who was the vice chair of the Senate committee, uh, and myself as chair, both agreed that there was no reason to censure that 28-page uh, uh, important chapter. No reason for national security reasons. But here we are 10 years later, and it continues to be censured. I want to thank the members of the Congress who are taking the leadership uh, in using the prerogatives and I think obligations that Congress has in our system uh, to demand that the executive release this information. Uh, it is important for a number of reasons. 
it's important for justice. Uh, there are thousands of Americans who are currently litigating uh, against countries like Saudi Arabia and other entities uh, for their complicity in 9-11 and therefore their responsibility to accept some of the horrific cost which have befallen those families because of the loss of a loved one. Uh, that justice to date has been denied in part because important information that would sustain uh, their claims uh, have been withheld, such as this 28-page chapter. Uh, second, it's important to set the historical record uh, correct. If we are going to uh, not repeat the past but learn from the past uh, in order to avoid incidents such as 9-11 in the future, uh, we need to know everything we can as truthfully and fully as possible about what actually happened on 9-11 and in the preparation for 9-11. And finally, it's a matter of current national security. If you feel, as I do, that there was a network of support for the 9-11 hijackers, what reason do we have to believe that that network uh, was abandoned immediately after 9-11? What reason do we have to believe that it's not in existence today, ready to be used for a future attack against the United States? These are the issues that are at stake in the question of whether the executive branch with uh, the concurrence uh, and leadership of the members of Congress uh, will make this information available to the American public so we will be uh, a more just, a more informed, uh, and a more secure nation in the future. I again express my appreciation for those who are leading this effort uh, and I wish you well. Thank you.